Folks, here we go. The playoffs. Playoffs? Don't talk about the yes, playoffs. Yes, we're talking about the playoffs. It's finally here. Can you believe it? The playoffs are finally here, folks, for the NFL. The tournament has been set. I hope you guys are excited. We had three days of NFL football playoff edition. And we cannot talk about the playoffs without talking about the players who came through the NFL Weasel Combine platform. Yes, some exciting things to wrap up. Now, if I was to say anything about this playoffs in regards to the NFL Weasel Combine platform, I would say it in two words. Special teams. This is where most of the players from the NFL Weasel Combine can make an effect on special teams. And I'm going to give a breakdown as to why. Now, when we look at the Arizona Cardinals, when the Arizona Cardinals, we talk about this young man right here named Chris Banjo. Chris Banjo, one of the solid players who came to the platform since 2013, made his way in the NFL to Green Bay Packers, landed, had spent some time with, his, with the Saints, and then the last few seasons, he's with the Arizona Cardinals. Solid, solid defensive back, but making his bread on special teams now. In week 17, in week 17, he was able to do something that he hadn't done in a very long time, and that was to touch the ball offensively. When he was a member with the Green Bay Packers, he did have a return for 12 yards, and that was pretty much a swivel kick when he touched the ball. Now, nobody's going to remember that. No one remember that. But what he did in week 17, something everyone's going to remember. On this play here, this fake on this punt as he received the direct snap. Early in this game, received the direct snap. That's when he threw it the ball down the field to John DeWard. John DeWard, look, caught this, caught this pass on the helmet of a defender for the Dallas Cowboys. Now, when it comes down to helmet catches, it brings back bad memories for me. I mean, I mean really bad memories because of this guy right here, David Tyree, an amazing catch against the New England Patriots that destroyed the, the New England Patriots season of having a perfect, perfect season that year off of this catch right here. Every time I see this catch, it gives me nightmares. Tom Brady should have got another ring in this matchup. But thanks to David Tyree and the New York Giants, they did not get that opportunity. So when I saw this play, it just made me think about that whole process all over again. But this catch right here, John DeWard caught pinned the ball on the helmet of the Cowboys player, rolled down to his back, and then brought it into himself. And you see Chris Banjo running down the field, trying to get things straightened out, making sure that his guy's okay. And then you see the officiating crew. They talking, they talking, they talking, and they realized and they came up, and they recognized that it was a catch. Good job on the crew in identifying it was a catch because it was. That was some good officiating, a good play, and a play that no one will never forget. Now, for the playoffs, what does that have to do with the playoffs? This is going to be something to watch out for when it comes down to the Cardinals. See if Chris Banjo can make a good play, a solid play, against this Rams team that they're going to go up against. Watch out for what Chris Banjo probably can do on special teams in this matchup. Tyrod Johnson. Tyrod Johnson, wide receiver for the Las Vegas Raiders. A solid, classic game to close out the season against the Los Angeles Chargers. Now, there were some things about this particular matchup that was really in particular. Johnson actually was a member with the Chargers a year before. Kept, caught some amazing balls, some deep passes. Thought for sure that he was going to be a Charger for a while, but unfortunately did not work out. He did not come back with the uh, with the Chargers. Not to his door, I believe, but he was not a member with the Chargers coming to the 2021 season. Signed with the, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Had only like, like five targets in that, I mean, this season while he was there. But he wound up going to the Las Vegas Raiders. Played in a couple of games, really had not been featured as a wide receiver. But on special teams is where he's starting to show an impact. In week 17, he had his best outing where he had two returns on kickoffs where he had 43 yards averaging 21.5 returns in that matchup. What does have to do with what the playoffs are going to set for? What he did against his former team in week 18 to close the season out, he did a sight and did a good job, two returns for 20 yards on average. But this play right here that helped set the tone, he blew up this play right here, forcing the fumble early in the game, and you see how fired up he was. This was personal for Tyrod Johnson to be able to make a play against a team that did not bring him back. And he showed out. Every opportunity this young man gets, he makes the best of it. What is going to happen in the postseason when these guys go up against the Bengals? Can he make a, a big play on special teams, or can he be a, a surprise receiver 
in this matchup. Something to watch out for. Tyrod Johnson, number 17. This young man is fiery. Believe in him. I think he's going to do some great things in the league. Keep your eyes out for this young man right here. Now, also to check out for this postseason when it comes down to these guys, F.A. Ibada, defensive end for the Buffalo Bills, going up against the New England Patriots for the third time. Can he or will he get to the quarterback, bring him down? That's something that he does all the time, and he's very consistent with it. So it's definitely going to be somebody to watch out for. And also, also, when it comes down to special teams, Dallas Cowboys, C.J. Godwin. C.J. Godwin, look at this. Solid, solid play here to close out the season, going up against the uh, Philadelphia Eagles. Good play right here. Can he make some plays like that in this matchup during the postseason when the Dallas Cowboys go against the 49ers? One of the things that the Dallas Cowboys are going to need, they're going to need Greg Zerline to be more consistent. This is a playoff. Yes, Greg had some struggles during this course of the season with some field goals, but let's see how he will hold it down this year. I mean, in this playoff game, they're going to need him to be consistent. They're going to need him in the kicking game to be consistent out through this game because they cannot afford to fall them fall behind against this 49er team because this 49er team is hot. They're going to need every point to count. Greg Zerline, let's see if you guys will step up. And then when you talk about kickers, going back to the Los Angeles Rams game against the Cardinals, Johnny Heckler, one of the better punters in the NFL. Field position is going to be key. Let's see Johnny continue to stick that ball deep, deep down the field to try to help the Rams secure good field position, a field position in battle. Let's see what he's going to do and contribute to his team on special teams. So that wraps up everything when we talk about the players on the NFL Regional Combine. For more about this episode, go to Lock and Talk Podcast on YouTube and subscribe.